Yeah, what's up guys, uh, T6 Forum, uh, Paul E, team, how you all doing? Um, so this is kind of um, an introduction, should we say, to this uh, painting the, the caliper things. Um, uh, it's, it's one of them ones, you know, do you, do you do a proper job and pull it all apart and, you know, take the calipers off and split them down and break the hydraulic circuit or, um, it's worked out to be just a quick and dirty one, uh, to be honest with you. Um, too busy at work at the minute, just can't have the time, we have the van off the road and all the rest of it, so we're just gonna do it in situ, we're gonna take off the wheel, we're not gonna touch the calipers, we're just gonna paint them as is. I've seen a few other people have done it and the results look quite good. So I'm gonna give that a go, uh, idea being that when the pads are low and I need to take all the calipers off to do the pads, discs, you know, whatever next time round, at that point, um, maybe I'll do a bit more of a proper job, but for now, Quick and dirty, just get them coloured red, see what it all looks like. If it all goes pear shaped, you know, no biggie, we can uh, we can strip it all off. Um, so there was two that I chose. There was the this one that you might have seen from the pictures. Um, this one comes with uh, obviously a tin of paint, tin of cleaner, and a and a paintbrush. Not fine, yeah, no problem. Also, I had the spray paint one. Um, got the spray paint one and just done a little test in the back garden. It. Obviously when it atomises, when you spray it, it went everywhere. It would have meant loads of time masking up all of the wheel well, the paintwork, all of the rest of it. Didn't want a gust of wind just blowing this cloud of you know red enamel paint um, all over the place. So I decided not to go for the spray, it was just kind of too messy. Um, nice and easy with the paintbrush, this one, paint it on, no problem, a few layers. Um, nice and easy, obviously the lacquer that went on after the uh, decals, you'll see that after, that is a spray can, that's the easiest way to um, just spray the lacquer on, uh, well yeah, once it finally worked out how to use a spray can anyway, but you'll, you'll see about that, so um, there you go, watch the video, um, see what you think, see you later. Stuff we're gonna go for e tech engineering brake caliper paint uh, in the in the red so it comes with brake lean paint brush and a tin of red paint so let's see what this one's like
so there we go. Good calipers. I'd say um, first coat, second coat, third coat, kind of it's it's like nail varnish or like gloss. Um, so as you build up the layers, the paint kind of smooths itself out. Um, anyway, next idea is decals. I've got a set of nine. So they come with three, three of that size. Um, which is the big one. And they come six, six of those size. And I think the plan is I'm going to use the bigger ones for the front because they're obviously a lot bigger caliper. Um, and then go for the small ones. Um, small ones on the rear. Hold on, that's my, that's my next door neighbour. I don't know if that was recording. But if it was recording, that was the, the neighbour uh, in fits of laughter. Um, Want to know what I'm doing sitting here talking to the car. She didn't see the camera. But uh, anyway, right, so um, two, different, two different sizes. I'm going to go for the big one on the front, the smaller one on the rear. And basically, it's kind of I'm just going to put them in the middle of the cover like that. So, let's see, uh, let's see where it goes. Right, okay, so that's the um, that's the uh, the decal stuck on. I'm trying to do this all in one day. Uh, so the paint's not fully cured yet. It says on the paperwork to leave it 24 hours for it to dry. So the idea is now we're going to seal it all in sticker with the uh, old high temperature paint. Give that a go. Right, okay, so. Ah. Don't know how much of a big sprig this is going to cause. You ever seen that before? What's that? Whoa. Oh, that was good. I tested it. It come, comes out the yellow bit. Blue bit. Right, well, there you go. That was uh, my journey into uh, painting calipers uh, on the T6, which I must admit is probably something I've not done since I was about 17 years old with an old Fiesta. Um, back in the day, should we say, but let's not go there. Um, I think the results come out all right. Um, I quite like it. Uh, things to notice, obviously I rushed the job, as you could see, try and get it all done in one day, um, but really you should follow the instructions. Um, two or three coats of that paint um, will build up a nice smooth glossy finish uh, obviously the, the caliper castings are kind of pitted and quite rough uh, when they're produced um, so the first second layer of coat goes on quite nice it's like a like I said in the video like a nail varnish is quite a thick kind of glossy so if you've ever done gloss in a home it's just like that kind of stuff um, though it does kind of go um, tacky dry quite quickly but if you then try and put the decals on, uh, it will just pull that off. So that's something that happened to me. Um, let the paint fully cure. Maybe um, do the coats of red one, two, three in the one day. Uh, put the wheels back on. Drive around the foot, you know, the next day. 
by the end of the next day your red paint's going to be fully cured, nice and tough, then you can put your stickers on, obviously clean them again, um, put your stickers on uh, and then lacquer over the top and that's, if I was to do it again that's, that's what I would do, split it over a couple of days. If I had the time I'd take the calipers off, maybe not uh, split the hydraulics, maybe just take them all up, um, do the carrier, do them all separately. Um, you know, basic engineering things, you know, don't put paint on the on the boots uh, with the slider pins, don't put paint on the uh, bleed nipple, don't put paint on the, the nuts and bolts, just stick with the main one. Um, and if you are going to take the caliper off to paint it, then mask up the, the mating surfaces where the bolts go through. Um, because if you do it up to talk and you're you're talking down on paintwork, that paintwork will, will mess up all of the things. So, um, even when you see them professionally done, they put buns on the end so that you don't get paint or a thickness of paint uh, between your bolts. So if you're taking them off, don't, uh, don't paint the, the surfaces where the slide pins and the bolts and the mating surfaces between metal. Um, obviously this is just my quick and dirty guide, so I hope you liked it and uh, I'm sure there'll be more videos and more crazy things where uh, I'll give it a go. Um, so I'll see you next time.